What's the RDF triple that describes you watching this video? The Resource Descriptive Framework, or RDF, is a standard used for representing relationships between data on the web. RDF is a form of graph database, and while it is the easiest and most common standard for dealing with data relationships, it's not the only tool. Read more about other types of databases by following the link above or in the description below. RDF is a standard way to make statements about resources like documents, physical objects, people, concepts, or data objects. An RDF statement consists of three components referred to as a triple. The subject, aka the source being described, the predicate, or the relationship, and the object, the thing that's related to the subject. A simple RDF statement about an employee might look like this. Sally, the subject, is employed by the predicate, the target, the object. Multiple related RDF statements make up an RDF graph. So the graph might also show who Sally is, their job title, and also Sally's coworker, Joel, who would also have a predicate connecting them to tech target. The semantic web depends on having an open and interoperable standard for data and metadata exchange, which is what RDF provides and the reason it was standardized. The benefits of RDF include the following. A consistent framework encourages the sharing of metadata. The standard syntax and query capabilities enable applications to exchange information more easily. Searchers get more precise results from searching based on metadata. And intelligent software agents have more precise data to work with. As a result of its popularity, however, RDF does have some drawbacks. Standardizing vocabulary for RDF resources can be difficult. Choosing the most appropriate syntax format takes practice. And choosing the most appropriate query language depends on the specific needs of an application. Can you think of an RDF triple relevant to your business? Type it in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe too.